Well, good afternoon everybody. <clears throat> it's about three and a half hours before high tide. I am between Lewstock and Shirt and Reefs, kind of dead in between on this beautiful sandy broken kind of ground. This is where I'm going to be fishing off of this stuff. Sorry if I'm going too fast, but this is where I'm going to be fishing over this stuff later on over high tide, so it should be interesting. But I've only been here for about 10 minutes. I've got one rod out already, which is the right hand rod, as you're looking at it. Um, the wind is pretty strong at the moment, so you have to bear with me. It is due to calm down later on today, in a couple of hours' time, so probably just over high tide now, in my luck, but anyway. Yeah, so we got a strong sort of gusty wind up to about 25 mile an hour at the moment. Um, but it's behaving at the moment, sort of. You know, you just get these gusts now and again, that's all. Uh, right hand rod, he's got a pulley panel on him. Or a pulley, yeah, pulley panel actually on that one. Uh, with a squid and uh, prawn on it at the moment. I got prawn, crab, Ragworm, lugworm, and loads of squid, obviously. I'm only going to fish um, up to high tide and perhaps an hour after. Uh, then I've got things to do, so as usual. There you go. I did come down here last night for a couple of hours. I got dogged out, dogfish. I only filmed a couple of uh, bits and pieces, but I'm not going to put that up. Yeah. So anyway, down in daylight. Obviously, high tide will be fishing into darkness, I would have thought. We'll see what happens anyway. Okay, the wind's getting up again, so... I'll bring you back if there's anything to report. In a bit. Woo Get out of it! <laughs> I just brought you back for a quick update. Uh, someone's messing around with a right hand rod. We'll give him a minute. God, we keep getting these big rollers coming in. I know it's a flooding tide, but blimey. If you're not careful, they sweep you off your feet. I've walked back with the rod so much now, I've got about 250 metres, or well, 250 yards of line out there, so... I'm going to have to drag them both back in a minute and uh, move further up the beach and just cast out, you know. I'm going to have too much line out there otherwise. Yeah. The first one I put out. You know, that was about, what, half an hour ago? Well, I'll show you. Look at this spoon. I don't know if you can see the lines on the spool, but... Uh, <coughs> he's, get, he's getting pretty empty. Yeah, so I better bring you in. Well, actually, I think I'll bring them both in and... Uh, Move further back up the beach and then uh, start again. This is a nice little bay, this. I quite like it. Uh, a few sandy patches and whatever like. Because uh, over high tide, I don't know if you can see that, over high tide I'm going to be kind of up there. And it's only what? AGR cast onto the sand, so... Oh, look at these rollers. Wow! Come on, baby! Come and get me! <laughs> oh, I do love the sea. It's awesome. Audio! I think I'm going to move. 
bring the rods in and uh, get some line back on the spools. <laughs> well, I'll bring it back anyway, in a bit. Watch the right hand rod. <laughs> I think something's taken a liking to the ragworm, but we'll see. Very bit of swell here at the minute, which is nice. Nice bit of movement. Just what we need. To excuse the wind trap. Still a bit whippy. Doesn't look like he's going to come back. So anyway, I've been pushed up onto the uh, onto the boulders now. If you see the uh, tide line, which is just there, um, that's that's where I'm going to end up, and hopefully be casting out onto the um, to the sandy bit, or well, sand, mud, broken ground sort of thing, you know. You have to excuse the rod flicking about. The uh, the swell was kind of uh, doing that. Yeah. Anyway, it's um got some fair weather behind me. Yeah, the wind's coming from uh, west or sort of southwest at the moment. Uh, yeah. There you go. Right. We're just about to have a, a shower now, so uh, I shall bring it back in a minute. Got something going on on the left hand rod. Oh, hello. And the right hand rod.
such strong currents out there today. Yeah. a baby bull ass. Well, 18 inches long. <laughs> Poor little fella. Right, let's get you back in, mate. Look, uh, he's got a little bleed. I'm gonna get him straight back in. I'll bring him back. What's this boy I'm not? He's got King Ragworm on. Messing about down here today, I'll tell you. What's the matter with them? Um, in about in about an hour's time, I'm gonna be fishing in about 15 to 18 foot of water. So not very deep, I know, but might produce something. Probably dogfish. But anyway, yes, it's deepening off quite nicely. The wind's starting to calm down a little bit, as they said it would. Not too sure about the rain, it keeps uh, spitting with rain. There you go. Okay, right. You keep it on that right hand roll for me a minute. Give us a shout if something happens. <laughs> i got to get this left one out and get him rebated. Much left of that. Change the bait, I'm gonna put corn on here this time. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Oh, yes. He's a nasty little fucker. He's a nasty looking prawn, isn't he? Although you can see that's a bit bright, but anyway, right, let's put it on him up. Prawn juice all over me now. Look at that. What a beauty. Right, let's get them out there. Let's get them out there. That's the only trouble with prawns. They make a pile. Oh, Slamming down just now. <coughs> Couldn't really do a lot. But anyway. Let's see if he's gonna come back. Is, but I'll be nicking all the tea towels. Rod. Doesn't look like he's going to come back and play, does it? Put the camera over here. The old 
coefficient, the uh, coefficient must be high tonight. Big swell, some nice waves. I didn't bother checking it to be honest. You know, when you're on the beach, it doesn't matter, does it? It's only when you're on uh, dangerous places. You need to take more notice of that. Like pinned up against rocks or cliffs or something. Okay, well. I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. Maybe even some cake. I've got a nice lemon tart. And some muffin. Capri's chocolate muffin or something. I don't know. Right, I'm going to go and pour myself a nice cup of char, have a munch on one of these cakes. I'll bring it back as it's only close to your port. In a bit. Well, I didn't get a chance to. I did get a chance to do a cup of tea. They keep messing about you. Yeah. Come on, some of these waves! Wow. What a rippers, mate! I tell you. Right, I'm going to have to move all my tackle. Look at this. Ah, that's only a small one. Uh, right. I'm going to move my tackle further up the bank here in a minute. I shall bring it back if there's anything else happening. Getting plenty of points, which is good. Yeah. Okay, quite. I'll bring it back. <coughs> right. I've got something to show you. Now, a young chap called Jake from Rig Shark has sent me some tip lights to try out. Now these ones, what I like about these ones, you got a little clip on them. Oh no. I don't know where you can see that. These actually uh, wrap around your rod and clip on. This one's a smart one, where if you get a bite, it flashes red. Constant green and flashes red. And this one, same idea, it's got a little clip on it. Clips over your rod, and um, yeah, this one's a constant green. Thanks, Jake. I know I bought two of them, and I know you sent the other two for your charge. Thank you very much indeed for that. <coughs> nice track, rig shark. Look it up on the on the internet; you'll find it. But I'm going to try these out in a minute, stick them on the rods and see what they're about. 
see what they're like for casting is my uh, the important thing for me. Right, it's chucking it down with rain here at the minute. I shall bring you back. Thanks, Jay. Well, I've got a bit of an issue. Those tip lights don't fit on my rods. Well, I can't get them on the rods. I've got, um, you know, the Mark IV tip lights mounts on there at the moment. Uh, so, um, yeah, I can't put them on my rods. But anyway. Yes, I've got a spare. I've got a couple of blanks at home. A couple of new blanks, so I'll... Um, I might sort of uh, whip them up with new eyes, etc., and uh, put those tip lights on them. Look at that seat. Wow. There's a bit of a cliff fall um, earlier on. I don't know where you'd be able to see it. So, trying to put the zoom on. No, you can't really see it. Anyway, it's. Um, about there the waves were like really booming as I was hitting the shore all of a sudden a load of gravel stuff fell down off the cliff up there yeah so uh, yet again be careful when you're fishing in front of the cliffs yeah there you go there's um a few people fishing around the corner there, a few chaps. I keep seeing them now and again, like. <laughs> um, I've had four, four dogfish. I didn't think you want to see them, so. <laughs> I didn't bother putting the camera on for that. You can tell by the bike, can't you, those bloody dogfish. Well, anyway. Yeah, another four dogfish. I thought there was some whiting out there just now, the way they was biting, but uh, nothing come of that. I've got to get this uh, weed off my line here. The rods don't like it. Right. Look at this right angle. Just watch this. Cool, I'm getting hungry. I'll show you this one. I'm getting a bit bored of it now. <laughs> oh, 
There you go. Another dopey dog. Woof, woof. Right, I'm going to get him back in, I'll bring you back. I think that's doggy number six now. One pull us and six of these bloody things. <laughs> but like we say, a fish is a fish. A beautiful one. Yeah. Huh. There we go. Yeah, fish is a fish. Well, I'll bring you back. because that was a different bike but... oh well look at that oh that's different both rocks are going in <laughs> Must be put us because I dropped that one. This is obviously a dog fish. Fish, eh? It's um, just over an hour after high water now. The water's gone down by probably oh, 15 foot, I expect. So I can only be fishing in about eight foot of water out right there. But they're still out there, still messing about with it. Audio. Well, I think um, I think the time has come. <laughs> The moon's on its way up over there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. The moon's on its way up. <clears throat> One more dogfish since the last time I spoke to you. So it's been a right on dog fest tonight. Uh, it looks like everybody else down there is packing up on the corner. I'm going to join them. I've got one rod in already. So, not a bad session really. All dogs. God, bloody light. Wow. Anyway, take care all. Stay safe on them rocks. And hopefully we'll see you on a beach near you. Oh, this light is so bright. Take care all. See you soon. Bye-bye now.